Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Joanna from Dulce Home. I am a mom of two little kids, Eva Luna and Samuel, and I make videos about cleaning, motherhood, decluttering, and organizing. So if you like this type of content, I would love for you to subscribe and be part of our little family. On today's video, I'm going to be sharing our grocery haul for the week, hoping you guys get some ideas. I love watching these videos, especially uh, from families, just to get an idea of what to get my kids for snacks and lunches and meals for the week. I'm going to start with the breads I got. I got this one's for a quick breakfast for my son before he goes to his preschool. This uh, protein wraps are so good for quesadillas or chicken wraps. And I'm gonna try my best to include all the prices and also to flip them around so you can see the ingredients and the nutrition facts. I love the things you do. We love multigrain bread in this family, but this is our first time trying this 45 calories per slice. I also got some plain English muffins for breakfast sandwiches. This on the go trail mix, this is my first time trying them from Aldi, but I love the cranberry nut combination. It's one of my favorites and these are perfect for a quick snack. I got two mac and cheese, you know, your mom of toddlers, they love mac and cheese, they save your life. This multigrain tortilla chips for uh, salsa and for a taco salad that I am going to be making for dinner. This walnut premium brownie mix, I grabbed this just so I can make it with my son whenever we are bored at home. I also grab artichoke hearts and I love putting those in my Italian salad. Two cans of coconut milk and I, I'm gonna use this to make coconut rice that's a Colombian recipe there's a cookie packs and I'm gonna put those on my son's uh, snack box for preschool this is my favorite cleaner I was so excited when I saw it blueberry jelly it just look really good I was honestly looking for sugar free that's what my husband prefers but they didn't have any so I grabbed this one and looking at the ingredients now is a lot of sugar and sugar is the first ingredient so that is a no-no but oh well we're gonna eat it up this week and it's going to be okay by the way let me know if it's useful that I'm showing you the ingredients and the prices in the video down in the comments This queso fresco is perfect for any Mexican dishes and also for arepas. That is a Colombian breakfast um, recipe. I also grabbed this four cheese sauce. I always like to have a sauce on hand for an emergency meal. Some mozzarella cheese, string cheese. Gouda is my favorite cheese for sandwiches and grilled cheese. Um, this one is also great for grilled cheese and is what I use for my son. I also grabbed the sausage and I'm using this to make some lentil soup. Some rice and I know this is not the healthiest choice but I am Hispanic and I need to have rice in my house at all times. This parmesan crisp are so good and if you are doing keto, they are perfect. The only ingredient is a parmesan cheese, so they are a great option. These cookie things are also really good. They are not as healthy, but they are pretty clean overall and they taste amazing, you guys. You need to try this ones. I love the things you did, you did for me, for me it seems like you're dropping clues. 
I get this white cheddar puffs for a snack for the kids and also the green pea crisps. They, I actually had the, something like this from Costco before, so I'm hoping they taste very similar because it was way cheaper, although way smaller as well. With me, talking to the night into the morning, building chemistry. At this Irish butter it's one of my favorite ones to cook with of course you gotta have avocados and I also got some um, mangoes and I love mangoes they were so cheap I was so excited when I saw them I also got some cabbage my husband is going to make some shrimp tacos this week a bag of frozen broccoli nothing exciting there and then I also get my favorite dressing. This is the Italian dressing. It's kind of compared to the Olive Garden dressing. I got Caesar for chicken wraps or chicken salads, a ranch to, for my kids to dip their vegetables on. I know it's the only way they'll eat them. And then beef and chicken broth. Uh, some lettuce for salads and Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna be making those with some pork. I got yogurt for the kids just for a quick snack or a breakfast. I also got some bananas. They were actually very green, but that's all they had, so that's okay. They'll turn yellow in no time. I also got some juice boxes. I don't love these juice boxes, but oh, you just have to have them sometimes for your kids. And I also got some uh, yogurt for myself and for the kids. I got some berries, my baby's favorite. Blueberries and the strawberries, you guys, were so cheap this week. They were only, I believe, yeah, $1.99. So run to Aldi to get your strawberries, coconut water. It's my favorite whenever I'm bored of drinking water all the time. I also got some juice. And the trick that I do with the juice is I actually filled up um, this little good to grow cups with half juice and half water. And also some almond chocolate milk for my three-year-old. I got some salsa. I'm making taco salad this week. And it's good to have with chips for lunch. I also grabbed some paper plates. I know it's not earth friendly, but sometimes I'm so tired of doing dishes three times a day that if it's a quick meal. I also got some broccoli bites for the kids. We have tried the kale bites, but this is our first time trying those. Of course, some chicken nuggets. They have cheaper options than $6.99, but I would rather pay a little bit more for this type. I also grabbed this pork tenderloin that we are making with the Brussels sprouts. These country potatoes that we are going to be having as a side with the pork. I also grabbed this pack of fish. I thought it was a really good deal for two pounds and it's wild caught. So you can't beat that price. That's why I love Aldi. So we're probably gonna be making this baked. And I also grabbed some shrimp for the shrimp tacos that my husband's going to make. He makes the best shrimp tacos in the world. breakfast sausage links are so good if you never try them I will definitely recommend you to they're perfect for a weekend brunch and then I also got some chicken to make some Peruvian chicken this week okay you guys this is all I have for you today this is our grocery haul for the week um, of course there are things that I didn't buy this week because we already had like tons of vegetables and eggs and things like that but if you like this type of videos please don't forget to subscribe and i will see you into the next one have a great day bye